I, I thought, as soon as this went down, I broke down my prison day. And I saw what I did in the parameters of offense within a day and how you make it work. So Studio City, where this area where I live is, was my fence. I just got a big offense. Everything was closed. Mm. For how long? So that's prison. I'm not walking into 7-Eleven. Ever since COVID started, I was already losing patience to 7-Eleven. That's last, Germ Central right there. The last year and a half, I've been losing patience to 7-Eleven. Every time you go in there, I got to give a dollar to some homeless dude. <laughs> they are the worst homeless people available to mankind. They're always in a wheelchair. <laughs> they always got shit on them and shit. Just walking in there is COVID. What about the night some fucking lady attacked me and Lee because we pulled up <laughs> and I didn't turn my headlights off and she started yelling at me and Lee so I put the high beams on her. And then you made me try to go give her a dollar and she wouldn't even... <laughs> she was homeless as fuck and she wouldn't take it. She just stared at me. I'm angry. Because <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know yeah, this was a pers- this was a prison so I, I broke it down <laughs> to the same fucking thing I'm on a parameter what can I do before I fucking went to prison I rode a bike I played a lot of basketball but guess what happened when I went to prison you gotta become a runner you know how when COVID started and the next day everybody was rocky Remember uh, two days after? Nobody was jogging before. By Wednesday, everybody was rocking. <laughs> Headband and shit. You got in your car. Dun, 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 A bunch of kids chasing a white dude. I mean, it was just, <laughs> I never seen so many people become rocky in their fucking life. When you go to prison, you become rocky. Okay? You either could become rocky for an hour, or you could sit in yourself for an hour. So you become rocky for an hour. What's the other option you have in prison? Religion. Everybody goes, they, everybody just, this guy just lit his kids on fire. <laughs> he walks into prison, he finds Jesus. Really? <laughs> that easy. You've been walking around for 10 years, going to parties, and Jesus was never there. <laughs> now you go to the depths of depths, and Jesus is automatically there. And these motherfuckers walk around with the Bible. They start quoting shit. The Bible? They look- oh, they get the Bible, and they start quoting shit, and then some of your types. Come here, yeah, he let his kids on fire, <laughs> sold them by the pieces, you know. Like, he's, these are horrible people, and all of a sudden they find Jesus in fucking jail. And you expect my guy like me to believe it. And how, sure enough, I would watch all those guys. How convenient. I would watch all those guys on the day they were going to get checked out. Like, all those guys who were Bible beaters, you watch them, and you watch them hit the gate, they give them the $100 check, and once they get that check, you see him walking down and like 50 yards away from the gate, you see the Bible go up in the air like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm going back to raping bitches. <laughs> I don't care what the Tenth Amendment says. Or the Tenth Commandment, thou shalt not rape midgets. I'm back. <laughs> I'm done. I don't give a Frenchman's fuck. You know, you just, you find, and this is all jokey and shit, but it, when I got in there, I just found the ways to avoid my room. And then there was ways that it was inevitable. So I would watch TV a certain time. I would do this a certain time. But my job was to, this time was different. I have a child. So I'm in prison with my kid. So I gotta help my kid draw. And I gotta get ear beatings on a book and you know, this is it, but it also has made me re-fall in love with everybody in the house. We got really tight through all this. It's quality time. All time is quality time now. Listen, today she started camp, and I am fucking a lot. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to go home and see what the report is. Today she starts camp and kickboxing. This is a big day today. <laughs> Let's see what the house brings tonight. <laughs> 